do you want me to tell you when I launch it or do you want me to just go for it? Just go for it. Okay, surprise me. <laughs> Holy <laughs> And welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jared Mika, and I've owned a Tesla Model 3 for just over seven months now. I would never call myself a car guy. I didn't research a ton of cars. I didn't, you know, dream of having a huge sports car or anything like that. In fact, I still don't have a cool sports car, but I do have a Tesla. The thing is, I'm a tech guy, and when the tech world merged with the car world and brought Tesla, that's when I fell in love. Ever since my buddy Dan from What's Inside introduced me to Teslas, I knew that was the kind of car that I had to have. And for seven months, I've been driving the all-wheel drive Tesla Model 3, and I have loved it. It has completely changed the way that I think about cars, that think about driving, and think about tech and uh, driving on the road. So what I wanted to do today was give you my five favorite things about Teslas, specifically the Model 3, in no particular order. The first one is autopilot. Now that's probably what most people think of when it comes to Teslas, is that, does that car really drive itself? Um, not quite, but we're getting there. Autopilot is the greatest way of driving, especially in bumper to bumper traffic and on the freeway. That's where I feel like driving has changed the most for me. I'm still being safe, I'm still being very attentive to the road, but I can observe my surroundings. It's going from being so focused on the drive to enjoying what I'm doing. It takes the stress out of driving, and I think that's one of the biggest things that people will enjoy about Teslas, is the stress of driving is significantly reduced. I think for someone who has a long commute that is in bumper to bumper traffic, that would be the absolute dream. You just set autopilot and you can just sit back and relax. We're actually at the point now where the the car will make lane changes for you based on the traffic that's in front of you. If one lane is starting to slow down and you have it set to be faster than that lane is, then it will want to move the car for you, which I think is just the coolest thing. So commuting is a breeze with Teslas. Number two is actually two that I've bundled into one. It's accelerating and braking. And I think is the coolest part about when you get in the car and go. The look on people's faces when you accelerate is the greatest thing ever. They call it the Tesla smile for a reason. Every time you accelerate with someone in the car, they get a big smile on their face, and it is just the greatest. And we don't even have the fast one. <laughs> Zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds for the Tesla Model 3 all-wheel drive. Um, the P100D Model S! I'm just trying to hit your face. <laughs> You're We're doing good. a pretty good job. Does it in like 2.9 seconds. No, 2.5 seconds. So these cars are freaking fast. Instant torque is the coolest thing and it makes me actually feel safer when I'm driving on the freeway when I need to make a lane change. Um, I don't have to hesitate. I can just take it and I know that I can do it really well. It's a lot of fun to accelerate, but at the same time, letting go of the accelerator, you feel something that you're not normally used to in a gas car and that's the regen the regenerative braking when you lift off the accelerator the car will automatically brake for you and you kind of feel that give in in the car and it charges the battery a little bit and the nice thing about that is you don't have to lift off your foot and put it on the brake you can literally just drive with one pedal and do push down to go and then let off to brake and in most cases it can almost stop you to a complete stop in the software you can change how much the regen goes I usually have it set to the highest unless I'm in like really really slick wintry conditions um, but I want to have as much charge coming back to me as I can and it makes it easier for one pedal driving it's something you really have to experience so I really encourage you going on a test drive uh, with a Tesla. Just a forewarning, if you go on a test drive with a Tesla, chances are you'll be addicted like I was and want to get one right away. Number three on my list is software updates. I love that my car is better now than when I got it just seven months ago. Some of the things that have come out have totally changed how the car is and how smart the car is. It's absolutely incredible and I have a list for the major software updates in just seven months that I've received personally on my car. Tesla cam, the dash cam, Tesla Tari, which is the, the video games on it, navigation sharing, that's like uh, sharing from your phone to your Tesla, navigate on autopilot, sentry mode, 
dog mode, version three supercharging, peak power increase, stoplight detection, no lane change confirmation, climate improvements, smoother merging, and so many more. Those are just a few of them. Navigate on autopilot, sentry mode, dash cam, I think some are the biggest ones there. But how many of your cars can you say have had those big changes in one such a short amount of time or even at all in our other car, our other SUV, I remember I got one software update and that was for a maps update. And I think they wanted to charge $500 for that update. One of the best parts about all of these is all of those software updates are completely free. I haven't had to pay for any software updates at all. One software update that I may get that may have a hardware update with it is the full self-driving. And I think right now that's at $5,000 or $7,000. I can't remember exactly what it is now because it, it's probably gonna change here in the next little bit. Um, but that is the one hardware software update that Tesla will probably have after the fact. But I do like that that some companies like Apple and Google have created things like Android Auto and CarPlay, so you don't have to worry so much about those. Um, it's really great, but Tesla does it better than anyone else. Number four is an interesting choice to most, but to me, I love it. It's the car's minimal design. You get in the car, you have the screen, and that's about it. There's not a lot of buttons, there's not a lot of stuff to look at, to fidget with. It's a very clean looking car. And something that whenever someone gets in the car with me, that's the first thing they notice is like, wow, where is everything? It's a very future forward thinking car and I think is the way we're going to be looking at future cars is that there's not a lot going on there because the car will be doing everything for you. Number five for me would be charging. I think this is something that most people won't realize until they have a Tesla themselves is you can wake up with a full charge, a full gas tank if you will, every single day. You don't have to go to gas stations I, I do because I like to get myself some Dr. Peppa, you know that's right. So other than getting like snacks and stuff, I don't go to gas stations because I have a full charge if I want to every single morning. I don't charge near as much as I thought I would. Um, driving around town and everything, efficiency is really, really great. And when you're not charging at home, you have the whole supercharger network. United States, almost all the way around the world, at least in the United States, you can drive from coast to coast and you are totally covered. Range anxiety is something that I thought I would worry about, but hasn't really ever come up. I've never been worried about not making it to my destination because I have all the charging that I need where I need it. And your software will do a really great job at making sure that you get to where you need to when you need to do it. So you're not going to be running into those issues where you run out of juice. I have had a couple friends run out very closely because they wanted to test the limits of the battery. But for me, I've never once thought about running out of battery without having a supercharger or my house close by. But before we take off, I have a special visitor that wants to make one more point about what they love about Tesla's and we'll turn it on over to him. Jared, I'm so glad that you're posting on your channel again. That is fantastic. For those that don't know me, I'm Dan from What's Inside or What's Inside Family. Here is our Model X that is great. It's a P100D. Here's our Roadster. Oh, shoot, I was charging it last night. This is our old first generation Roadster. This is our Tesla 100D. It's a 2017. I'm currently working on a project here for a YouTube video. You did your top five things that you love about your Tesla and I think your list was fantastic. One of the reasons why I do have a Tesla is the safety of this vehicle. I have a family, I have a wife and three kids. And when I'm on the road, it is a nice comfort to know that you're driving in the safest SUV that is out there. A couple of weeks ago, I was at the Falcon Heavy launch in Florida and I was talking to a doctor and he said because he works in the trauma department and he sees injuries every single day from people getting in car crashes. One of the things he loves about the Tesla is the whole front trunk is actually a crumple zone so that if you hit into a wall or something, you have this whole area that's like a cushion that can break and bend first before it actually gets to you and your body. Where in a traditional gas powered car, the engine is all in the front and you have a metal barrier in between your legs and the engine. And when you hit something, all of that pushed into your car, into your legs, into your body, there's flames, there's gas, there's all kinds of dangerous things, and that's where a lot of the accidents happen. This car is very difficult to roll. It is incredibly safe. I want my family to be safe as possible when we're on the roads because you never know what's gonna happen. And so for that reason, I definitely would add to my top five safety for my family, and that's why I love this Tesla. Thanks, Dan, I appreciate your input. This company is checking almost every single box when it comes to these things. Tech, safety, fun, 
All of those things are in Tesla. There's so many things about Teslas that are absolutely great. And I've just hit five points that I personally think are awesome. There are so many more. If you guys have a Tesla, I'd love to hear what your favorite things about them are in the comments down below. Tweet me at Jared Meekum. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just five things that I really enjoy about Tesla, five of my favorite things, but there's so many more. So I encourage you guys to go on a test drive, check one out, ask a friend if they have one, see if they'll let you drive it. They might be a little too attached, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> if you guys are interested in getting a Tesla, you can use my referral code to get 5,000 miles of free supercharging. They just bumped that up from 1,000 um, at the recording of this video. So hopefully it's still available when you guys check it out. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I want this to be as balanced as possible.